Hey, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Kelsey from the blog poofycheeks.com where I share hundreds of free cut files, sublimation designs, craft tutorials, and so much more. So come along today. We are going to review this PYD Life sublimation tumbler press. So before I got this, I was using a mug press and let's just say that was not a good thing to do. I was having to take my tumblers and press one half, turn them, press again, move the tumbler over to get that top or bottom part. It was like a four step process and now it's only a two step process really. So going from the mug press where I was having to move and rotate the tumblers, now I can do it all with this machine. So I'm gonna show you everything you need to know about the PYD Life Tumbler Press. Um, this specific one comes with two different sizes. So it's got these interchangeable sleeves. I can change the one that I have in there out for this one. And so now I can do these skinny tumblers, the 20 ounce skinny tumblers. I can do the glass Libby cups. And I can do the even skinnier tall Libby cup, which is, you can see the difference there. This sublimation tumbler press was sent to me by PYD Life. I'm so thankful for it. Like I said before, I was using the mug press and I had this in my cart on Amazon. So I'm gonna link to it down below so you guys will have the link to this as well. But as you can see, this is super simple. Um, these can come off and then you can replace with the other sleeve, which I'll show you how to do later. This part here, these two, they are what is going to set your tension so that if you put your cup in here, which we'll just go ahead and do real quick as a practice while it's off. I always like to put my cups in and test pressure and stuff while the machine is off. So there is just, if you can see that, a lot of room. It needs to be way more snug than that. So what I'm gonna need to do is tighten these right here and it'll push that sleeve further in and make the tension or make that sleeve a bit tighter. This one's stuck, so there we go. So kind of go back and forth and you're gonna use it to tighten so that everything fits the way it should. Now, like I said, the tumbler press also came with this one. So if I were to detach this and put this one on, it goes this way. Um, now I can do the 20 ounce tumblers and it does it all at once. They do have this spot that's always gonna be open for if you're doing mugs or something with a handle. Since these tumblers don't have handles, what you will wanna do is go ahead, put your tumbler into the press, press it, for half the time, so if it's 240 seconds, I'm gonna press for 120 seconds. Once it's done, rotate it so that the line where it was open is now on the opposite side and it is pressing the entire tumbler. Items included with this machine, I got the Pro Max and it comes with the, um, the 7.2 to 8.8 .8 centimeters and then it also comes with this skinnier one. So as you can see, these two are checked. That's what we have here in the box. Also important is your Tumblr heat press user manual. So it is important to look through these. It tells you the attachments that are available with the Pro Max and then how to set and clear and use all the settings here on the screen. And then it gives you an idea of your temperatures and your times for different items. But I wanted to show you how it works. First, plug it in. Oh, I still haven't taken this part off. I've used it a couple times. Um, and then you're gonna click set. I'm sorry, clear, because see how it's counting down? It's because this is closed. If I open it, keep it open. All right, now I'm gonna go to set. I can do these arrows to move it up and down. We said 356. All right, and then once we get it to where we want, we're gonna click set again. Now we're setting the time. So 120 seconds. We are gonna leave it at 120 seconds. I'm going to press it for 120 seconds. Then I'm gonna rotate it 
and then I'll press for another 120 seconds. So now say that I have my cup in here and I'm ready to go. I'm going to close this. All right. This countdown, once it's closed, is going to start. If I want to stop the countdown, because as you see, we're not even up to temperature yet. I have it closed, but I'm not pressing anything. I'm just going to press clear. And now it's going to go back to the 120 seconds. And as you see, it's heating up. I moved outside because the truth is that this machine, this machine smells a little bit like burning rubber kind of, or, or something. It's not a good smell the first few times you use it. So I'm changing out the sleeve. I want to show you how to put the other one in. So you're going to just take these little screws. You should be able to get them with your fingers. A few of them were in there too tight to use my fingers. Um, but you have to unscrew all eight of them. There's going to be four on each side. With these ones that were too tight, I grabbed a t-shirt just to try to get a little bit more of a grip on them. Um, it worked for some, not others. So then I called in my husband with a pair of pliers. Why didn't I think of that? And he was able to get them right away. The final thing you need to do to remove this sleeve is unscrew the part here that connects the sleeve into the machine itself. You're gonna unscrew it and then just gently pull it out. Those prongs are in there. Take it off of the machine and now you want to put the new sleeve on. So you're gonna start the same way. You're going to put the new sleeve back in, connect the white cord with the prongs. It does have a flat end, so that's how you'll know which way it goes in. And then use all those little screws and attach them back onto the machine and the handle. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up, follow and subscribe because the next video I'm going to show you how we are actually going to print out our sublimation pages, give you a free template, and then we are going to sublimate the glass Libby cups and the 20 ounce white tumblers. And as you can see, you're going to see the full difference between how those designs look on each of these cups.